What's up, YouTube? It's Randall here. And Jose. And we're at Mod Effects. We're with YouTube on a budget, Miracle Whip, and we just finished working on this car. Uh, we're going to go over a few things that we did, show you all what the process was, and ultimately, here, here are the results that we have here right now. So here we have a 2015 Dodge Charger SXT. Um, it's a V6 model. However, he's done a few upgrades to the vehicle. The biggest upgrade you see is the 24-inch wheels. Um, question you might have is how can you bag a car on 24 inch wheels? Well, the, the, the difference is the offset. So he doesn't have a super wide wheel up front, and so he has the proper offset which allows the wheels not to hit the fender. Um, he does have his fender slightly rolled so the wheels, so the tires won't be cut by his fender. And uh, he did have to modify his upper control arm bolt. Uh, he had to shave it down a little bit to allow for some extra clearance for the tires. Um, we went with universal air suspension bags. Um, which is what the car sits on and which to fill up when you air the car up. And we have an uh, accurate E-level air suspension system, management system, that's going to control the operation and functionality of the air ride system. Which we're about to show you in about two seconds right now. So Robert wanted something to make sure he could keep uh, most of his trunk and all his uh, space. Oh, look as, he got leaves in there. Hold on, brother. Hold on. He's huh? looking weak right now. Oh. You got trees in here. <laughs> Blooper. You got to put that in there. No, <laughs> All right, so Robert wanted to make sure he get the most of his trunk space, so we went ahead and did a, a actual back wall to mount his Endo VT tank. Um, we also wrapped the entire tank with a theme, which uh, in his case it goes uh, Miracle Whip 2.0. Um, added a couple little items in there, some some close details. He has they got a little Miracle Whip can uh, bottle holding on the little character right there, um, and then I'll show you the the back in the wiring where the actual um, compressors went. So and then we went ahead and put his uh, E-level E-level brain and his compressors over in the back with the Bayer Airs 444s. Um, all his wiring is pretty much cleaned up. Made a simple setup where he got two relays, one to control each side of the compressors in case one goes bad. We also added instead of a relay, we added a uh, um, what's this called again? Uh, Bro, what are you talking about, man? Breaker box. Oh yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a breaker box. That nigga's tripping. So we added a breaker box also, so that way he can kind of disconnect his his system in case the battery goes dead. He can charge it back up, and it won't do any damage to the system. Or if you're working on the system, you could also just do a quick disconnect, basically with this little controller right here. So definitely, uh, when you get your either Accuair or airlift, you want to make sure that you have this option, which most people love it. Uh, when you remote start your car, basically gonna go up, and go to about right. Now. I think Patrick, I think Patrick was worried about the splitter. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was worried about the splitter. Yeah. <laughs> Come over here, look at this. Look at this. Put the sensors in. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna pop this out right now. This is what I'm working for right now. That's it. Patrick, can you pull that sensor? What sensor? The rubber on, on the other side. Uh, I'm on Rosie's. I'm on the Rosie. Can you pull that rubber out? I got it. That's where I'm gonna run each side, left and right side. For your sensor. I use these grommets. Yeah, go ahead. Pull it. Pull it in. Pull it. Well, this part is that the you want to see. I just want to make sure. So this is sensor. So each one is marked sensor three and four. So basically, front driver's side is one, passenger side is two, the rear driver's side is three, and the passenger side rear is four. So we want to get two and what? Three. No, we want one and two. No, we want three. one and three. Three. Two and I said, four. Did I say three? <laughs> oh, I, I was. It was a trick question. I was trying to confuse. So one, three, two, and four, right? Correct. Okay. Eyes on the left, evens on the right. 
There you go. I thought I said three. Yeah, he always mess with me, bro. Come with it. I think it's the uh, rolling track packages. Okay. It actually has a little like. Some of them have metal. Some of them have a rubber washer right here. Can I get the bag? Hey, excuse me. She oh, oh, sorry. I was trying to help you out. I'm sorry. So on the bill scenes, I actually put this in the second color, second day. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Especially with your car right now, you got 24s on there. Uh -huh. It's gonna go a lot higher than what it used to. And so we'll still go down. Just the same. Shouldn't show this one because everybody always asks me what's how you do it. Hola, ¿cómo estás? is what we need. We're going to okay. put, really put that on there. It's the hardened washer. Basically, we're going to keep this bag from going go down. Huh? Hardened washer. And it's the hardened washer. You look at it, it's really thick. Okay. It's not the real big thick one that'll bend down. Nut! I might have to throw that one. But I need them. This one just had the nut on it. Oh, it did? Yeah. Okay, so you don't need it? I need a nut. That's all. Actually... Throw it! No, oh, I was just joking. 18 now? Oh, so that actually holds down the bag and this is what mounts on the strut mount. Correct. Because okay. that, that hardened washer so keeps it from popping So, this charger up. has strut mounts, right? At the top, I already stayed in there? No, nah, they're, they're on the floor over there. I took them apart. Okay. So, you keep the strut mounts in there? Mm -hmm. So, you take the strut mounts out completely? Mm -hmm. That's why I messed up when I did my park avenue bag. Mine wasn't set up like this. Okay, never mind. It's totally different. So, I mean, when you right now we, we have this put together because it's a use kit, right? Okay. And when you put these together, these plates come off. They're off. They're not on there. So you want to make sure the line is in the back. Okay. And then the singular one is in the front. So when you're putting it over there, this piece goes behind, which is going to be like this. It lines up with this, right? Okay. So when you put it up in there, it's so it's going to be lined up. Because if you don't, if you do this back, this part right here, I've seen it before, where they have it over here, when you go to put it over there, you can't swivel it. Okay. You can't turn it. You have to take it apart. Okay. So it's got to be basically opposite of each other. So, I will tell people that. Right. So, usually, the, the little sets that come already put together, you'll have the linkage, it'll come in a package. So, this one's a, 
this how it's used already. So you basically want to go ahead and find a position where you can put the sensor in. And also want to find somewhere where you can have the linkage arm, okay? The linkage arm have to have about three and a half inches of travel. I think up to a minimum about an inch and a half to two inches. So basically it needs to be able to go down when the car goes down. And then when the car goes up, it needs to go far as this far going up. So we just basically had to find a spot. I already know where this spot is because I've done it so many times. So I basically, I'm going to go into the control arm here and I'm going to put the sensor right where it is right there. Okay. So as it goes up, when it is out, that's it. So that's what measures it. And then we'll go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and drill that in real quick. So where does the line go? You go in here or? The line, no, the line's gonna come in through here, and I'll take this apart too. It's gonna come alongside. I'm gonna go underneath the pinch well okay. and be bolted all the way, all the way to the back. So here goes the linkage. You see it? I kind of let it hang and kind of gives me, a, you know, you want it nice I and do. straight. So if you just let it hang, you can tell where your straining is. Pop those over so it's not giving me a full speed. And if you look at the arms themselves, they have like little numbers. Number eight. It's usually eight and six for some reason. It's always falls around there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that hole up. It's dusty as hell too. Where you be going? Huh? You be on dusty road. Look, I'm black. Everybody, it's Randall. Uh, we're here with YouTube on a budget. Um, kind of midway through his air suspension install, so now we're going to run the lines for his uh, E level sensors and his air hoses. We have 3 8 uh, DOT air hose. We're going to run these hoses, and, and you know, he'll be one step closer to getting his air ride done. Uh, you have the, uh, the bottom panel right here. We've already removed it. There's a couple of 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter nuts that go on on the little studs um, in various locations. Sound like a Hemi. Um, and so, this might be. And so we've already kind of pre-positioned to where any of these studs aren't gonna poke the wires as they're coming across this panel. And so there's a channel right here well, we're gonna just follow the channel. You know, we're not gonna make any, you know, drill any different slats or holes. We're just gonna follow the, the natural channel that it has in here. Just put my tools down, and uh, you know, then he'll be one step closer to getting everything done. It look exactly like that picture. Picture I got pro uh, edited. Alright, let's jump in the back, get it down some more. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Push that front bumper. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's all. Like so like I, like I need to tighten it up. Okay, you can move the now. It actually ain't bad. Thank you, Patrick. You're welcome. This is Patrick. He sold me oh, yeah, his yeah, uh, Billistine front struts. If it wasn't because of him. I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Alright, so we hope y'all enjoyed the video showing the AccuWare air suspension installation. Um, as you can see, we're here at ModFX right now. Today's Saturday. We stayed up last night till about 4 in the morning working on this vehicle. So, it's midnight special. We went ahead and got it done. So, as you can see, you have Hellcats. This is what, you know, this is one of our projects we've worked on. Done a lot of work, too. He also has the same suspension setup. So, depending on what you want to do mile to wild, we definitely try to accommodate and make sure, you know, we have options available at all price points. Um, you know, we also have, you know, a Ford vehicle in here. You know, we have a uh, Honda vehicle back there and even a Mercedes. So, you know, we try and be a one-stop mod shop and give you all the options to where, you know, we can meet your needs, hopefully exceed your needs, and, um, you know, thank you for watching. You know, we definitely appreciate all you guys' time, and uh, you'll be seeing more of us soon.